Jessica's sport blog, a new game, a festival and much more. The last few weeks have been very busy for development, networking and research for inclusive physical activity in Shropshire. I had the great pleasure of visiting the Shropshire Rural Community Council Sight Loss Opportunity Group run through the Hearing and Sight Loss Service. They were a very welcoming bunch and introduced me to the sport Boccia. I have heard many great things about Boccia and the work Shropshire RCC has been doing to develop the sport to local community groups. The sport was easy to learn and could be adapt adapted for all abilities. I was playing alongside blind and partially sighted individuals who were brilliant at it, bearing in mind some had only learnt it that day. Another partnership I have created is the link between Derwin College which is a residential f college for students with learning difficulties and disabilities, along with Shropshire Paddle Sports in Oswestry. This will create opportunities for students to develop confidence on the water in a community setting. I was also invited to the Shropshire Football Association Three Counties Ability Counts Festival, seeing over 150 adults and over 30 children take part in pan-disability football leagues and training sessions from Shropshire, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. There are many ways to get involved through playing in local training sessions, volunteering or supporting the administration. For more information, you can visit the Shropshire FA website and look under the Disability Football tab. How much exercise do you get? The results of the Active People Survey have been published. For those who aren't aware of the survey, it is taken over the course of the year among more than 163,000 people nationally. It measures individual participation in sport down to a local authority area. These sets of results show a decrease in the number of disabled adults taking part in sport on a national level. The English Federation of Disability Sport says this may have been due to a lack of awareness of sporting activities or new approaches may, needed, may be needed to attract more disabled people into sport. More information can be found on the report by looking on the EFDS news page. Can I ask that you reflect a little on how much physical activity you do each week? What small changes could you make to lead a more active lifestyle? Jessica Lightwood, Shropshire Sports Inclusion Officer.